design robotics and advanced manufacturing. I want to talk about a couple of the initiatives that are happening here and also plug the event that's happening later this afternoon. So um, one of our major research centres is the Australian Robotics Centre. And this is a centre exploring the ways that collaborative robotics can be used for industry and advanced manufacturing. And there are tremendous design challenges in this space. How do we design these equipments to be usable for people? How do we involve people in that process? What are the business implications? What are the workforce implications? There's lots of work for design research to do here. Yesterday we were in a workshop sorting out fashion garments into different, into different kinds. Very labor intensive process, difficult process, definitely something that could maybe benefit from some of this equipment, but it needs that design expertise. The ARM Hub, which you'll get a chance to visit this afternoon, is the Advanced Robotics for Manufacturing Hub. It's a non-profit uh, R&D company dedicated to uplifting Queensland advanced manufacturing. Queensland manufacturing is dominated by small to medium-sized enterprises. There's a real desire to start engaging with advanced forms of manufacturing, but there's kind of a bridge missing for those small companies to get access to the skills and the knowledge that they need to apply in their business. That's what the Arm Hub does. And QUT and many of the people from the Design Lab are core members of the Arm Hub. We put some of the faces uh, to that here and some of the uh, things that are going on. So in our Australian Cobotic Centre, we have two um, programs of research that are just people from Design Lab involved in, first one, human-robot interaction, which Marcus and myself co-lead, and then uh, the human-robot workforce, which Greg Hearn is in the audience here, is, is one of the co-leads on that. Uh, in the uh, design robotics work, advanced mass uh, customization manufacturing project, I can tell you more about this afternoon if you come to the Arm Hub. Then what I want to really point out here is the amazing network of companies that are interested in design and curious about design design can be applied in their companies uh, to keep the value for people. And if you look at the range of researchers from the design <coughs> line, the range of skills that are being brought to bear in the space is, is really impressive. Okay, so thank you, Jared. I just want to briefly talk about opportunities to, to get and engage with our, our program of research. So first, at the undergraduate level, there's a way to get engaged with our wonderful uh, students, undergraduate students either through work with graded learning uh, projects that we're sending up across our different uh, study areas in fashion, yeah, industrial design, digital communication, and fashion design, but also potentially dedicated capstone units where you can actually go in and work with third year students on this particular project. So then on the, on the post-graduate level, there are various ways of getting engaged. One really um, great initiative are the HDR, HDR internships where HDR students can go and stay in this region for three months and get supported doing so. So they're actually taking time out of their PhD, but they bring in their sort of knowledge and expertise and spend three months with an industry partner doing a dedicated project. Other opportunities to get more engaged are either through research projects or dedicated HDRs that are industry based. And the main places to do that are actually the centres that Joe has introduced, so the UNHUB and the Australian Robotics Centre. Both are big centres that have Audio momentum, we have uh, postdoctoral research fellows, we have PhDs, we're engaging with district partners. So, there's ways of engaging with us through these entities and talking about partnerships and potentially be part of large research initiatives. So, uh, there's a QR code, I think, uh, right up there. So, if you click that QR code, that's one way of getting in touch with us. The next thing I just want to briefly plug are uh, our, our wonderful PhD students are actually not presenting this morning because we're, we're, ran, we're in our space, but this afternoon we have a whole dedicated session at the AMHA. Um, we, we learn about our students doing social robotics, robotics, emerging technology, uh, GEs, uh, more broadly, specifically uh, quite a few students working across augmented and virtual reality. 
So we have the Arm Hub event starting at 12.30. We've got two showcases, one on design and emerging technologies and one on design and robotics. So please come along if you get a chance. Um, and the last slide is just to say, please get in touch if you want to talk to us. Uh, and without further ado, I'm handing back to Mary Miller. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, I think you